Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to help you in installing the Intel DPC++ compiler, which will help you with the compilation of the DPC++ file. It can also help you in compiling the C++ and C file all in one go. It can be done with ease and this is one of the very important things that you can know about the DPC++ compiler. But before we go ahead and download and install it, we need to do some prerequisite things here. I'm going to show you what are all the things that are required and I'll also walk you through. The first thing that you need to do is you need to install the Visual Studio for you to go ahead with the usage of DPC++ compiler. The DPC++ compiler is using the services from Visual Studio and that's why we have to use it. You will see this on screen also during the demo which I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and download first the Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition and if you have not installed it, you please install it but while installing you must include the C++ for a desktop option which is under the workloads. If you have installed it already but without enabling this, you have to reinstall it. I mean, you have to modify your installation. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you how exactly you can modify this. Go ahead and select modify. And once you click modify, you will be able to see the list of available options which you have not utilized or not enabled the previous uh, during the previous installation. So you need to wait for this to be loaded. I'm waiting right now for it. So you can see that once it is loaded, you will have the C++ for desktop. You can see that desktop development with C++ option is there. I'll have to click it and I'll have to go ahead with the reinstallation for this particular option. Once it is done, you are all set to go. Now, the next thing is you need to install Intel One API base toolkit. There is where your DPC++ compiler is bundled. So I'll have to download it. I have given the link for you. So please click the link and you will be taken through this page where you'll have to select the options for you to download select the operating system, select the installation mode, and most importantly, please give your business email ID as well as the other details which are prompted for. It should not take more time for the installer to be downloaded and more than that, it will not take a lot of time for you to go ahead and complete the installation also. Once the installation is all done, it's very easy for you to launch and to go ahead with your DPC++ or C++ or C file compilation with your DPC++ compiler. It may take few seconds for you to for the installation. Now I am searching for the one API command prompt and you can see that once I search for it, it gets launched and you can see first it is setting up the one API environment. Then you can see that initializing Visual Studio command line environment. This is why I asked you to install the Visual Studio. Now I'm going to take one sample SQL file and I'm going to run it for you. I'm testing if the installation is all proper. Yes, it is all proper hyphen hyphen version will get me that detail. Now I have already taken a file from a different website which is nothing but your SQL file or DPC++ file. I am going to compile this file. You can see that I will give you this link as well in the description. I am going to compile this file and I will show you the procedure. Just save this file appropriately in a uh, directory just like what I am doing right now. I have already saved this file in a directory called test and you can see that now I am going to go to the directory and I have saved this file as you can see addv.dp.cpp. So I have done that right now. Now I'm going to compile this with the DPC++ compiler. So icpx hyphen fsql, that's the flag that I need to use, the option I need to use, followed by the name of the file which I have to use for compilation. That's all. Whichever file I want to compile, I'm giving it there. So once you are done with it, you can see that the compilation process is now on. There could be some warnings which you need to look in into, but this is the procedure that you need to use for compiling your DPC++ file with the DPC++ compiler. I mean Intel DPC++ compiler. So now I'm going to show you the available output file as well. Uh, you can see that right now. So the a.exe is available there. I'm running it and I got the output. That's all. This is the way you can use the DPC++ compiler for running a DPC++ file, right? Now I'm going to show you how exactly you can go ahead and use the same compiler for running a CPP file. No flags are required, just use ICX followed by name of the file. That's all, it's all done and you are able to get the results in front of you and you can you can test if you have gotten the executable file. Yes, we have got hello.exe. I'm going to run it right now. Hello.exe is available all the way for you. That's all, when I run it, I'll be able to get the output. Now, how do we run the C file? Do we have to use any flag? No, not required. I'm going to show you that right now, ICX, I've got some file called prime.c. Now I'm running it 
and the moment I compile it, I'll be able to get the executable file available for me right now. Let me test if it is generated. We can see that right now the executable file is generated prime.exe. I am going to run it right now. Prime.exe is run and I am getting the output. That's all. I have compiled a C file, C++ file and DPC++ file all with a single compiler and you have seen the way it has run. So thank you very much for following this content and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the chat section. I'll be able to answer it. Thank you very much.